What is good everyone, it is Omega Zero here, back once again with more Shin Megami Tensei 3 Not 10. And the last episode, we went through the Amala Network again, we found Isamu, who turns out to basically say, yeah, I'm gonna live here now, and I think everyone should just live by themselves. In the sense, like, completely isolationist hermit style. I don't like that. It sounds depressing. I was alone for one day with no one around to talk to, and it was boring as all hell. Talk to this guy. The other part of the city is restored, and now you can go inside. But we weren't the first ones here. Well, we're still pumped up. We're gonna help restore the city too. Well, Hidiri in the last episode did say to explore Asakusa. So, they did say the northern part. I want to check out this part though. Is this part done? Please tell me it's done. Frig! It's not done! But they didn't say the northern part of the city is done. So, what? What do they mean by northern part? If I may. Hold up. No, they don't mean this. Check out what's new. Do they mean, like, go check out the other areas? But before we go further, let's cast another stoma. Because I don't like running into enemies and we already explored this area. So there's really no point in not going further. But they said they restored the northern part. So I'm assuming when we go through here and kind of go through the other parts here. It's like, oh yeah, we restored it. Everything's back to normal. Everything's good. And like, maybe like Sakahuki or... Whatever it is that murderous mannequin to do, where like some rampage of killing all the other mannequins, like good lord. He's like, what was up with him? What was his problem? Who crapped in his cornflakes? <laughs> well, I always like to do a little bit of looking up on lore of the characters that we kind of like just to look after. It's like, oh hey, yeah, the lore of this character is pretty messed up if you think about it. Anyways, I think they were talking about this one. This, like, northern part. Hey! Yep! Final restored area. Now you can go and look around. It's full of demons, though. Okay. I'm fine with that. We got this back in over here. Final restored area, but it's filled with demons. Oh well. Pluto Mimi should be ready to give his prophecy with a finish hero. I think I'll get her. I'll go there. Are you going? I guess that's where we need to go to next. Oh. Hey, it's Titan. What? We believe in coexistence, so there's no violence here. Oh, okay. I can respect that. It's just like, hey, you have your part of the city, and we have our part of the city. Hey, wait, there's a place we can go to even further up? Okay, I guess we go further down in. Let's go. There's still an Asakusa, so we might as well just go forward. Poipo? Things have been heating up in Ikebukuro lately. I heard someone saw a call by the building that used to be the Mantra's headquarters. Huh, guess we go there then. After we go see Mufu no Shiro, or Mufu no Shiro, ah, the place where uh, Mimi Futo Mimi was at. By the way, some Hesper looking guy started living in the terminal room. You a buddy of yours? Yeah, he is. Then you should drop by once in a while to check up on him. Take advice of a long time Asakusa resident. Huh, so they just block off the area? I was like, hey, it's not that big of a deal to just leave it there. So, demons grow restless, so there might be new demons in this area, so let's just encounter some more. That's probably the fault of the previous episode being so long. It's like, oh yeah, there's some new demons. The Lounge of Giza and the club in Shibuya are great places for info. info. Ever been to either of those? Yes, I have, but I wasn't really looking for info. We have an S terminal here, so this is another one. And I kind of do like the idea that a demon is like, Yo, hey, you should probably go check up on that friend of yours every once in a while. Hijiri. Which is a good idea. Like, I would call him my friend, sure, but... It's kind of like the idea of like, yo, as long, if we're working together, we might as well... You know? Like, check up on each other every once in a while to see, like, hey, you doing good? How's everything going on your end? Is this the episode? Yeah, unfortunately, I think... The, no, 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 this is... I know this episode, I know that episode. Ooh, items. Yeah, um, in between episodes, like, I was kind of, like, trying to upload more, well, episodes, because I have so well. Alright. Nope, more of the same. And it's basically the same thing over again. <laughs> 
I guess I'll cast a stomach because like we've seen these enemies already and there's not really any I want to recruit maybe I'll fuse them off screen or maybe I will recruit them off screen you know how it is and like yeah let's see what we get because like we already have pixie uh, we already seen one of our party members be permanent uh, as, as in like Dante if you know anything about this game like he is a recruitable demon or technically he's a demon by the game's logic you know what I mean. Anyways, we have reached, like, I guess the quote-unquote furthest part of here. Let's see... What's here? Let's kind of open the doors and check. Ooh, mythical chest. Mystical chest. As uh, said, it's already near full Kagatsushi. Let's see what we get. A sapphire. Eh, it's alright. Maybe there's more chest here, I don't know. There is more chests here. An emerald? Is that like the prize for coming all the way out here? Like you get like some of the best uh, gems? And yeah, I'm not gonna go for full Kagetsuchi for these. A diamond? I guess it's like, I, I want to assume it's like, oh, you just be in the upper. Ah, oh, nothing in here. Or maybe we'll come back here and we'll beat something up. You never know. But yeah, so that was just basically the new area of Asakusa that was opened up to us. Not really much that was changed. Oop. Yeah, unfortunately. Hold up. I got video to type in the description up. <laughs> yeah, that's on me though. Like, I, I got a front. Like, yeah, I probably should have done this like beforehand, but yay! That's uh, kind of like the fun thing of doing plays with me. I kind of just do things like, oh yeah, I'm gonna do this right now. Is it dumb? Oh, absolutely. I got a front, it is. And are we still in the red? Yep, we're gonna cast another stoma. If we were like in yellow, like okay. Cause from what I see, this never goes all the way down to like um blue when you have a stoma on. And we can't go that way because you're already did, and that was with the murderous mannequin, uh Saka Kuki. Whatever it is, the one that uh Futo Mimi basically said, yeah, you can kill him if you want, uh he hurts us, so let's go. What the heck was that? Us, oh, my little brother. Watching whatever the heck he's watching, probably FNAF related activities because God forbid he watches anything else. <laughs> and I'm not talking about atrocities and that, I ain't him. So our other, my other little brother, Six, who's kind of the uh, one who picks something up, becomes obsessed with it, and might drop it a few days or hours later. <laughs> but yep, nothing has really changed all that much in. Um, Asakusa, but we will check out and see if we can go to check, um, go see if Futo Mimi has changed that much at all. I.e., can we actually talk to him and say, Yeah, you can be here, but you can't come in? Funashiro, Funash Funashiro. Hey, what's up, mannequin man? I heard that Futo Mimi is finally coming out of meditation, so I rushed to see if they miss him. We got some more mannequins. Futo Mimi's prophecies are also advice for those who hear them. They tell us what we should do. So what, do we come here every once in a while and he'll tell us, hey, Futo Mimi's in the back, meditate and seizure. Please be quiet. Okay, go in. 
the door is closed tight. So no, we can't. So unfortunately, that was a waste of time for us. But I guess since we leave the area now, um, I guess we just kind of go back. I think I know I have an idea. They said something was going down in Ikebukuro. So I guess that's the next area for us to go to. And if we do come here... Well, I guess there's another place I actually want to go check out, but I'm not sure if it's available to us yet. Return to Asakusa. I guess talk to Hijiri before we head out to Ikebukuro. Because, you know, talk to everyone. I'll track down our Amala resident here, so don't worry. Track him down and kick him out of the network, that is. How are you gonna kick him out? No offense to you, Hijiri. I'm pretty sure you could knock a kid normally on his head sideways, but... We're talking about a dude who lives in a Amala network surrounded by souls and spirits that entered his body, and he looks like he's gonna turn into Legion. So let's head out, and apparently Hikawa is supposed to be here in Ikebukuro. Our old headquarters has been seeing all kinds of action lately. Even guy even showed up there. Yeah, this guy's like the only only left. It's actually kind of messed up now that you think about it. And for those of you wondering like about like the Kalpas and all that, I found out that you can just enter it real quick and then GTFO. Like, oh, I got what I wanted, peace, fool. Which is probably going to happen. But, oh hey, I was going up here. Hello. Look who we have here. Hikawa. An unexpected actor making his way on stage. It's been a while since we last met, young man. It actually has been a while now that I think about it. Yeah, you tried to kill me. Or should I say, demi -fee. What to about be frank, it? I've never given you much thought. Yeah, I know you're a nihilist. But it seems our paths were made to cross, even from the very start. Maybe. I'll have you know, I accumulated enough Magatsuhi for creation the moment I destroyed the mantra. That's why I didn't bother stopping you from reaching the obelisk. I probably would have killed you anyways. Part of it was that I wanted to verify whether you were truly the Demi-Fiend. However, not only did you defeat my subordinates, but you single-handedly set the maiden free. I mean, I had my demons, and all I did was just touch the strength her. of the demi the forehead is written in the scripture of Miroku. It was beyond my expectations. Perhaps you might wish to cooperate in delivering Shijima to the world. Yeah, no, your nihilist point of view is stupid man's in my desire opinion. As a flame. When small, it is warm and comfortable. But the flame soon erupts into wildfire, devouring everything in its path and leaving only ashes in its wake. But from those ashes, something new can be born. If we count forests. Mankind grew to covet such fire. We became dependent on its warmth and averted our eyes from its all-consuming nature. Hmm. Rather than blaze a path of ruin, we should lay down our fires for the world's sake. By doing so, a life of repose would there in turn go. be promised to us. What is desirable, what is undesirable. It is not man that makes the distinction. It is the world. Therefore, humans are best suited as its beacons. Eh. Lights that spin quietly, sometimes bright, sometimes dim, all pulsating in perfect harmony. Nothing's this perfect. Is the highest form of existence there can be. Sounds boring. Do you not agree that the world should be ruled by serenity? In a sense, but what you're describing is basically humans living as machines, in my opinion. Like, oh yeah, we live all this, we do as 
it's the world as a command is basically kind of like how people in Meccano blatantly follow uh, what the angels say and don't question it at all like in SMT4 so you're deluded so besides you tried to kill you me are a mere twice after all I Screw was you. wrong to think that you would understand my ideal it is now time for us to part. I'm I will not to kill me. feel I'm at kill you. ease until all this is over. Do you not sense something wicked in the air? Someone is scheming to ignite the ember that still glows within the remains of Gozu Tenno. I think I have an idea on who it is. I must not falter while others strive to establish their foolish reasons. It is I who will create the new world. And with that, uh, he call uh, F soft to somewhere new. What? The door cannot be opened. Huh. Well, that's a problem. So, I'll be back in the big while I try to figure out how to open this door. See you in like a couple of seconds, I guess. Okay, I'm back. And basically, after looking at a guide, yes, I look at the guides from time to time, basically. I don't want to wander aimlessly anymore and bore you with that. So what we need to do actually is go all the way back uh, to Mifunashiro. I'm all on network. Where is it? Mifunashiro. Yeah, we could teleport there so we don't have to worry about, you know, like running through all over Asakusa like I did in the earlier part of this section, which I probably shouldn't have because I forgot. Because I'm an idiot at times. Here we go. Mifunashiro, we're back once again. And Futo Mimi is actually out of here now. From his Everyone, room. listen to me. Okay. What I am about to say is critical to our future. Okay. Each one of you has worked hard for our peace ever since we escaped from the mantra. But another power is being born that can potentially bring our efforts to naught. Yes, it's happening in Yoyogi. What? This evil power will take form at Yoyogi Park. Wait, what? what? Right now, it is but a mere shadow. However, when it takes form, it will have enough power to change the face of the world. Uh, uh, Yoyogi? Uh, what what evil power? Say? Wow. But we should not fear this. We have learned to work together. If we join forces, we will be able to fight this evil power. Let us work harder and prepare for that time. We will not fall to the power that is brewing in Yoyogi Park. The future is there for us to change. We will create our own path. There will be an end to our journey. A world where we are free from suffering. Yes, the world of mannequins will surely come. Hopefully he doesn't become too crazy, you know what I mean? Uh. Oh! Okay. Is that it? Puto Mimi's prophecy has never been wrong. Puto Mimi mentioned Yoyogi Park. There must be something important there. Yeah, and by going to Yoyogi Park, it is actually important. I was still wrapped up in Puto Mimi's words. I completely forgot. I need to restore the city. Gotta head back. And yes, um, <laughs> we actually do need to go back to Asakura, Asakusa, because there actually should be something different there now. By now, with after we have seen the scene with Futo Mimi, hey. What's up? Find out anything interesting? I heard I did, you can't yeah. get inside the Mantra HQ right now. Naturally, that's the mannequins all worried. Could be the work of former Mantra members. But I doubt they'd try anything without a leader. Also true. Which reminds me. I've heard talk about Futo Mimi as of late. What about him? Maybe those mannequins are up to something themselves. I kind of agree with them in a sense. Like a world of the mannequins, uh, I don't know, man. 
You never know. But with that, everyone, I'm going to check the time, and this ultimately will depend, well, if we end the episode right here, uh, back in Asakusa, like we just started, or if we go further. So I'll be back with you in like a couple seconds. Three, two, one. You know what? Yeah, I felt like that kind of appropriate, like, bordering on like 21 minutes and all that. But with everyone, be prepared for the next part, because apparently we have an area opened up to us, and it's going to be difficult. But anyway, I'm Omega Zero, catch you all later.